Hey, today we're going to be looking at the supplementary angles or what we can call as adjacent supplementary angles. They are also related to the adjacent angles and the complementary angles that we've covered earlier on. So we're now we're going to look at adjacent supplementary angles and we're going to notice that they add up to 180 degrees. Let's look at how they work. In theory, we have a straight angle made up of 180 degrees and it's split into two or maybe even more angles. In this case here, split them up into two angles that share a common arm and a vertex down here. So this angle here marked in blue and this angle here marked in red. They both add up to 180 degrees. Very important. They make a straight line, what we call adjacent supplementary angles. Now, let's work out and see how we're going to work out a missing or find a missing angle using supplementary angles. We want to work out why it is actually missing at the moment and we know that this is 60 and we know that both together add to 180 degrees. So we write y equals to 180 degrees which is the total of both angles. Take away the 60 degrees, take away this angle here and we're going to be left with 120 degrees. So 180 is the total, take away the 60, we're left with 120 degrees, that means y here is 120 degrees. Of course we write our reason, our reason is adjacent supplementary, S-U-P-P -P is short, angles. Adjacent supplementary angles, that's our reason for working out why we said 180 degrees in total, take away the 60, we are left with y which is 120, adjacent supplementary angles. Another example over here, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to write y equals to 180 which is the total degrees minus take away 130 degrees we're going to be left with y so y is 180 take away 130 y must be 50 degrees so this here is 50 degrees and our reason adjacent <coughs> supplementary angles. Adjacent supplementary angles, this is the reason how we worked out why, because this is a straight line that is 180 degrees, take away 130 on this side, we're left with y, y is 50 degrees. This angle here Again, it's a supplementary angle, it's a straight line being divided into more than two. In this case here, we have three angles that have been divided in this straight angle, or what we can call the supplementary angle as well. So, we have a 50 here, we have a 60 here, and we are trying to work out x on this side here. So x is what's missing, it is 180 degrees, which is the total, the total is 180, Take away the 50 and take away the 60 as well. So 180 is the total. We're taking away 50 and we're taking away 60 as well. 50 and 60 is 110. 180 take away 110. X is 70 degrees. So x is 70 degrees and our reason all the time adjacent supplementary angles. Adjacent supplementary angles. We are giving the reason x is 70 and we always say if the question says give a reason 
even though sometimes it doesn't say give a reason, always give a reason just in case that's what's required to do. We always write x is 70 degrees, adjacent supplementary angles. You complete it, we show the working out, we show the answer, and we show our reason. Working out, answer, reason. Working out, answer, and reason. Very important for us to set it out correctly and you'll get full marks for showing all working out and your answer and your reason. On this side here, we have an angle. Again, it's split up into three. We have a straight angle split up into three. One angle on this side, one angle there, and we have a missing angle here marked with a X. So we want to work out X. And we know 180 degrees is the total. Take away. Now here, you need to be very careful. I've seen students always miss the right angle. Because they don't see a number, they miss the right angle and they forget to write it in. Very critical that you watch out and you look carefully at the question. So we're going to take away the 90. And we're going to take away the 40. So 180 is the total. Take away the 90 on this side. Take away the 40 on this side. 180 take away everything in the brackets. We always put brackets to show 180 take away both, everything inside. And 90 and 40 is 130. 180 take away 130. We know x is 50 degrees. And of course, our reason. Now normally the reason will be written next to the answer adjacent supplementary angles. Adjacent supplementary angles, as you can see, 180 minus the 90 and the 40. We're left with x. Be careful, the 90 is there, although there's no number, but we know the right angle means it is 90 degrees. So this is the way to do it. Very important, the reason the reason, the reason. Sometimes more important than the actual answer. So it's always important to show answer and the reason as well for our answer. It's critical that we have that. Without that, you're going to lose marks, maybe even get it wrong altogether. Okay, and this is how it is actually done. Very simple, you just have to be careful, look for the details, and you won't get it wrong.